your garden is closed for a few months, it's time to focus our attention indoors and apply your green thumb to your house plants. I'm here at Ryman Gardens with Dr. Cindy Haynes from ISU. And Cindy, first of all, what kind of plants do you recommend? Well, it is always sad to see the gardening season go away, but uh, there are a number of uh, house plants that we can recommend indoors, so you can extend that kind of gardening season indoors. Some of the foliage house plants that I recommend are philodendron, jade, ficus, um, snake plant, uh, are a few that would work really well indoors. They're very durable. Foliage plants are pretty tough um, and will manage just fine for several months indoors. Some flowering house plants that would be nice to add some nice blooms in the winter include African violet, moth orchid, bromeliads, even the bulb amaryllis. So there's lots of things that you can have indoors that look good for several months. Okay. Now any special tips for the winter months? For the winter months, there is some special care that's required. Obviously, you're going to keep the house plants away from drafty windows or doors. They don't tolerate the cold conditions. Make sure that the leaves don't touch the window panes or the glass either because it's a little too cold. Um, also, be sure that you keep them away from radiators or heat vents that might be a little too warm. So kind of nice, moderate temperatures. Obviously, they need to be close to the windows because they need the light to photosynthesize. They need kind of bright light uh, for the winter. Um, you also might want to consider not watering or fertilizing quite as much in the winter because they're not growing quite as much in the winter. And then another thing to consider is humidity. You need to try and raise the humidity with maybe a humidifier because that extra humidity really helps them uh, do well over the several months. Okay, and enjoy greenery in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. And if you'd like more information on house plants, be sure to log on to gardeninginthezone.com. I'm Liz Gelman, and this concludes this season of Gardening in the Zone. Thanks for watching.